The Stasks command lets you schedule tasks to happen automatically, like backups or updates, saving you time and ensuring things get done when they need to. Here are 9 key commands for managing scheduled tasks. Open command prompt, press the Windows key, type CMD, and press Enter. To query tasks. Stask slash query slash fo list slash v. This command will display a detailed list of all scheduled tasks on your system, including their names, status, triggers, and other relevant information. This can help you diagnose and resolve issues with the task. To create a new task, stask slash create slash tn task name slash tr task command slash sc schedule type slash mo modifier. Replace task name with the name you want to give your task. Replace task command with the full path to the program or script you want to run. Select the program or script. Click the Home tab, and copy its path to be pasted in the command. Replace schedule type with the frequency you want the task to run, example, daily, weekly, monthly. Replace modifier with additional options specific to the chosen schedule type, example, every one day for daily tasks. This command allows you to automate tasks that need to be run regularly. For example, you can schedule a script to run at a specific time every day. Slash show SID displays the security identifier, SID, for a scheduled task. Stask slash show SID slash TN task name. This command will show you the security identifier, SID, associated with the specified scheduled task. The SID can be used in security auditing. Each account in a Windows operating system has a unique SID that is issued by an authority, such as an Active Directory domain controller, and stored in a security database. When a user logs on, the system retrieves the SID for that user from the database and places it in the access token for that user. To run a task. Stask slash run slash TN task name. Replace task name with the name of the task you want to run. Press Enter to execute the command. This command will immediately trigger the specified scheduled task to run, regardless of its scheduled time. If a task is not running as expected, you can use this command to manually trigger it and observe its behavior. To enable slash disable a task. Stask slash change slash t and task name slash enable slash disable. Replace task name with the name of the task you want to enable or disable. Using slash enable will enable the specified task, allowing it to run according to its schedule. Using slash disable will disable the task, preventing it from running until enabled again. These commands allow you to automate the process of enabling or disabling tasks, which can be particularly useful in scripting and batch processing. Slash end, ends a running instance of a scheduled task. Stask slash end slash tn task name. Replace task name with the name of the task you want to end. This command will terminate any currently running instance of the specified scheduled task. If a task is not functioning as expected, ending the task can be a part of the troubleshooting process. After ending the task, you can investigate the issue, make necessary changes, and then rerun the task. Slash create slash sd sets the start date for a task. Stask slash change slash t and task name slash sd start date. Replace task name with the name of the task you want to modify. Replace start date with the new start date you want to set for the task. The date should be in the format day, month, and year. This command will update the start date of the specified scheduled task to the new date provided. If a task doesn't need to start until a future date, changing the start date can prevent it from running unnecessarily and consuming system resources. Slash create slash ru specifies the user account under which the task runs. Stask slash change slash t and task name slash ru username. Replace task name with the name of the task you want to modify. Replace username with the new user account you want to set for the task. This can be the username or the user's SID, security identifier. This command will update the user account under which the specified scheduled task runs to the new user account provided. By changing the user context, you can ensure that the task runs with the minimum required privileges, reducing potential security risks. To delete a task, stask slash delete slash t and task name. Replace task name with the name of the task you want to delete. Press enter to remove the scheduled task. Reply with Y to confirm the action. Scheduled tasks consume system resources. By deleting unnecessary tasks, you can free up these resources for other processes.